Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the error code 43 if your USB device not recognized on your Windows computer. So this will apply for Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 devices. So first thing I would recommend doing would be to actually power off your machine and disconnect all of your USB peripheral devices. So anything that's plugged into a USB port, you want to disconnect it. If you're using a laptop, you want to take the battery out. So actually, if you're able to physically remove the battery, wait about five to 10 minutes, plug the battery back in, turn on the computer, and then put each USB device back in one at a time. And that should honestly be able to resolve the problem for most of you guys. I mean, that should really be about it. If you're still having a problem after doing that, and again, I strongly believe that that would be the first thing I would try, but if you're still having a problem, you can try opening up the search menu and search for device manager. Best result, check them back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to expand the universal serial bus controller section. And you want to go ahead and right click on any generic USB hub here and select update driver. So you'd want to select browse my computer for drivers, locate and install a driver manually and select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer if you have a generic one in here that's fine go ahead and select next and then once it's done select close and you do that for all the generic USB hubs you saw in here and then you go ahead and restart your computer you could also uninstall the USB hub so right click and uninstall device select uninstall and then when your computer restarts you will have to restart your computer once you're done with this it should automatically detect the USB ports and it should recognize them download the drivers and you should be good to go as well so give you guys a couple different additional options here to look at one further thing you could do as well would be to open up the search menu type in CMD best result should come back with command prompt go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt go ahead and select yes and now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now is all one word attached to forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. It's going to say beginning system scan. This process will take some time. Okay, so it says it did not find any integrity violations. At this point, you can close out of here and just restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.